Gone are the days when impressing people was the in thing. When going to posh hotels just to get mirror selfies with high-end phones was such a big deal. Despite doing all this, a void sat deep down my heart. I needed to know my purpose in life and that is when I decided to start the journey of chasing dreams. Walk with me. But before that, let's go back to where it all started. Hi guys, I'm Anne and I'm Bian's friend. So, uh, how the first time I saw Bian, <laughs> we had gone to, was it like a job interview? No, I was going to report to somewhere that we were supposed to start working. So when I went, I was alone, I didn't have someone. And then there was this chick, there were two of them, Vian and her friend called Tina. So me, I'm just seated, like I'm those kind of people, I will sit very comfortable in my silent and I have no many stories. So then I see this chick, oh my goodness, her lashes. <laughs> They were humongous, like a whole one kg or even more. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my goodness, who wears such lashes? And my first judgment of Vian, hmm, it wasn't nice. Because one, I didn't like the lashes. I was not used to lashes. Number two, I was like, she looks like such a snob. <laughs> my name is uh, Mike Mwada. I'm a beauty therapist consultant and a makeup artist by profession. Yeah, and I'm a good friend. I'm a BFF to Vian. Uh, we met with Vian, or I met Vian back in 2015, yeah, in TRM. Then uh, I had moved from my previous uh, working station or employ employer, and I, no, I was now starting a new place uh, where I met Vian. I don't know if I need to mention the name of the place. It is in TRM. So I landed there, so I was the newest, of course. There are other many people working there. Uh, the, the most outstanding person I met first was Vian. <laughs> wow, because wow, Vian, unajua, akuna kwa naida impression, like a kingia, and I let your statement, your presence. Ya zina kingia place hivi, utam notice. Either way. And I was like, oh, okay. Anyway, I don't know her. I don't know why I'm judging. And I was like, cool, I'm not going to judge anymore. So we finished with the thing and then we were leaving. So when we were walking, on my way to the stage, still the same chick who is Vian with her friend, and she had this huge bag. <laughs> She had a huge bag and like, oh my goodness, this chick is so tiny to have such a bag. And I was like, anyway, I'm not going to judge again. I was trying not to judge. But yeah, that was my first, first day that I saw her. Then later, the place we were going to work, they had a lounge. They were launching the place and we met again. I was like, hmm, this is the same chick that I saw. So I was texting my best friend. I was telling her. Okay, you remember the chick I was telling you who has those huge lashes? She's here, and today's lashes are like 2 kg. <laughs> and I'm chatting with Vian, and I'm telling my best friend, like, me, I don't like this chick. And she was like, Aki, okay, and you're just being a bad person. Why are you judging her? And I was like, okay, we will see. Then, uh, still seated, I'm just alone, not talking to anyone. Vian comes and she's like, hey, what are you drinking? And I was like, I don't know, I just got some drink and I'm drinking it and I love it. And she was like, can you take a clip of me? Cause she had her camera and she was shooting. That day she was looking very smart, apart from the lashes. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> so we started talking and then we were talking and I'm like, oh my goodness, she's awesome. Cause I'm the kind of a person like I, I, it's very hard for me to make friends. People who know me have had the same kind of friends for the longest. And our conversation was just flowing. And I was asking her, what do you do? And she started telling me what she does. And she was so passionate about uh, taking videos and going to like taking photos. And I was like, wow, you're really into this thing and you're good at it. And, and the first thing was like she was 
not so sure of the photos that she was taking and she was like what do you think of this photo what do you think of this photo and I was like no they are perfect and she's like how is my camera I'm like your pa- your camera is so good but she's like ah, I I like if I would have a better camera and I'm like no cuz the camera you're using is better than the phone so like appreciate you have this now and start working with it now and that's where our conversation became deeper and my conversation with my best friend changed i was like hmm cuz I, I still I, i still i think i'd not gotten her name i was just telling my friend like the last chick she's I, she's awesome now we are talking and we we, we had some drinks and for me it was such a big thing cuz i am those people who will go to a place if you know me i'm quite talkative but at the same time i'm not talkative but she made it so easy to just talk and i didn't feel any weird because i didn't know anyone so it was just amazing when you like you're this judgy about a person and then you get to know another part of them like you had not seen so vian came okay i used to just to see her okay my nature i don't talk to strangers first i take my time i learn people then yeah later so my first impression when i saw vian actually it wasn't the best one <laughs> because me when you know via and go na na mtu like pride okay see sometimes we interpret things uh, wrongly because vian was talking a lot of english <laughs> out of english a lot of makeup she was ever elegant you know so i think you know me i'm a village person i'm a village boy <laughs> so i think my interpretation was umtu akona maringo other pia the twanging the new twang so kaida i i didn't like her as much but later on i don't know how what happened we became best of friends so i, I, I think we had one common one common problem tukwa tunaonewa sana vian si ndio job so yeah i think it got to work a place that I don't know if it's console each other or something I don't know but from that time any time I had a client cuz me I was I, I, I'm doing beauty Vian was doing hair mostly if I had a client who wants to do hair I would refer the client to Vian I already I had seen so many things uh so many art she had done or to a, a lot of hair style she had done it was good so every time I gave her a, a client the client was satisfied and the client could come back the same way vian would get a client for beauty should give me the client and that's how now we started now clicking we became best of friends going to lunch together you know i came to know her more and she came to know me more although again me and vian we have something in co- as much as i'm saying vian is your attitude nini I think we we have something in common when it comes to character wise. He was she was so perfect. She's a perfectionist by the way. So when she's doing the hair, you could see the concentration. The client was happy like everything that she did was so perfect. So from that day, I was not comfortable giving out my client to anyone else except Vian. The same way with Vian. When it comes to facials especially facials and the nails although Vian too was doing nails but sometimes she she has a client she has to give me the the client so that's how we started working together kidogo kidogo we started going out <laughs> i started doing makeup on Vian Vian started doing my hair you remember and then Vian came to be, uh, she later on i started doing music and Vian became my video vixen <laughs> <laughs> so if you watch my videos most of them Vian is there acting dancing and so on so like that when now was when now I stopped judging and I got to know the kind of a person that she was and we had a no some day and then the lunch was over and now after that now we started working so the working part like uh, at times we would sit down at times we would not sit down and now i started getting to know like she's quite passionate about youtube but i think the most the huge thing with her was the fact that she had doubt 
a lot like self doubt a lot of it and there were times i would like vian you need to shoot you need to shoot why are you not shooting why are you not shooting and she's like no my camera this and this you know the way you would like you having self doubt but you trying to get different things like to blame but deep down you you have what you, you need to start i think that was her biggest issue but we we started talking about it a lot i remember there was even a time we were praying i'm also a very emotional person i think i just remembered it so you know those things like you pray for then you forget there was a time this was a prayer item beyond if you can remember and just hit me you know there you pray with your friends it might not be as much but it's now like it just hit me this what she has right now it's an answered prayer so I'm happy for you we prayed and at times you can pray for something and you're waiting and waiting you're like this thing is not coming it's not like i want it now but let me tell you like you see the way we, we, most of the times we are told god's timing is the best god's mm. time is the best but you're like i don't think so but with the journey even like not the youtube thing even with your work we are god's timing is the best and i think now you're in a such good place because i feel like if you started it that time it would not be awesome as now number two you would not see god the way you're seeing him now number three you would not know how it feels when god comes through for you because there's just something when you pray for something and god puts you like pause i need you to pause and then i will come but when he shows up it's the best feeling ever it feels amazing people like start testifying about god on your behalf like you don't need to come and tell me vian i'm doing good i can see it and i can see the things that god have done in your life and i think that's the best kind of testimony when people testify on your behalf you don't have to say it so on contrary to what i had seen or what i thought about vian when i met her it came to change and uh to date uh, as i'm talking now i'd say she's one of the best person she's very true ni mtu akom true sana she doesn't lie uh, as in she doesn't pretend to like you if she doesn't she doesn't pretend to be happy with you if she's not she's very ambitious uh, she's very hard working she's a go getter whenever she want to do something she will get that thing she's very spiritual that's something i came to learn later actually later on i came to learn about vian because when me when i met vian okay she kept on talking about god like anything you do you know god knows that why it's happening all that but uh today i think i've known her to be a spiritual person more than i thought because during those days maybe we are going out we are doing funny stuff <laughs> yeah but still she would talk about god but later now i feel like she's more spiritual yeah and then i remember then this this one other thing i came to learn about vian she's very loving uh she's a philanthropist that one i could yeah she's a philanthropist Oh uh, she's very caring and I came to learn this when she talked to me about the mom by the time I met Vian I think the mom was ailing those uh, that was in 2015 and uh, I could see the sacrifices that she was making because mo- most of the time she could come a few minutes late many other time she came early after having attended because I think the, the mom was kind of she was dependent so we had to wake up early do everything for the mom according to what she was telling me which i came to confirm and then come to work and then of course sometimes you are late for work then the manager is on your neck 
you know, it could heartbreak Vian a lot, I could see it. But I kept on encouraging her. And um, I remember, I didn't stay for at the salon for long. I think at the end of that year, I moved. And I went to another salon <coughs> in West Lads from TRM, Thicker Road. I went to West Lads. Uh, and then when I, when, when I got there, the boss then I was working for Wahoo, the Afro Siri for Wahoo. So when I, I, I went to Afro Siri, Wahoo was so happy with me, with my work. And then uh, she asked if I had someone I could recommend for hair. And then already I talked to Vian about it. And then I knew Vian was so uncomfortable there place she was in. So I recommended Vian and Vian came, did a, an interview with Wahua who was so impressed. So Vian joined me. So it got to Nafuatana. So we started working there again. I, I didn't stay there for long. I had to leave Vian again. But before I, we left, I remember there's something that happened. Uh, I remember I, I, I had talked about Vian's mom was ailing. And I remember this one day when uh, Vian, I remember very well, Vian had a client. She was doing something we call micro weaving. Uh, she was one of the best people doing that at Afro City. And that client had insisted Vian has to do it. And it was Uliqua Gioni already. And that, the, the, the process is, too, is usually to takes a lot of time. And for myself, I had finished my work. I didn't have any booking. And then uh, all of a sudden I was called. I, I, I was working from upstairs, then Vian was at the crowd floor. Uh, in the salon, I was in the spa. I was called and when I arrived, I all oh, what I could hear from the stairs well, I was coming back. I was coming to, <coughs> to see, to answer the call. Uh, all I heard was screams and I could tell that was Vian. So when I arrived there, Vian was crying. I didn't know what was happening. I was, okay, when I see someone crying, I I can't even comfort you. I see Jwagi ni I don't know. To me, I just, I, I just stayed there. So was Wahu there? Someone called, I think Wahu, not the manager, no Wahu. Wahu called me, ni manager, yeah. The manager called me, I can't do you know anyone, Wakina Viani. I told, yeah, I, I think I had met Max, and I had met um, your, your cousin Emma. So <clears throat> I asked uh, the, 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 the manager what was happening, I can't believe Viani has lost her mom. And I remember Viani, I think I told me the mom was hoping. Oh hospitalized like a few days or am at the same I, I can't remember really well. Yeah. So Vian had to excuse herself. Then uh, the client was good uh, was good enough to understand. So me and Vian took a, an Uber and went to Kenyatta Hospital. Unfortunately that was the first day I met Vian's mom but in that condition because we stayed with her there everything it was <laughs> like I, I said me I was just there seated they do whatever they are doing the dramas and everything I couldn't say anything but I could feel it yeah so that has been our journey with Vian then from there I think I I bothered a lot with her family during the the morning period because I could go and spend at their place with my friends with my cousin because now Vian had uh, had known more of my cousins again eh? because of the videos and everything. If I had a cousin or a, a friend or a family member who wanted to do hair, I would refer to Vian. Back now, we backtrack. So I'm not emotional anymore. So Vian is here. Oh, my camera. I don't know, my camera is not nice. That time I had a pathetic phone. She had a pathetic phone, but she's not seeing what she had. So we started talking and we would shoot. I did, there was a time we did two videos and they were nice. And then again, she still went back to the self-doubt again. I remember there's a time we had a conversation and I was telling her, we, we are both, we, all of us, we are humans, but you can't say you want to be unique, now you, you like walk naked. 
even if I dress this, the dress I'm wearing right now and someone else is wears it, they, we won't look the same because our features are different. The way I carry myself, my confidence is different. So studying her, there's someone who came up with the same idea like she wanted. She was like, no, and imagine this is what I had always wanted to do. And now this person is doing it and they are big. And I was like, no, Vian, imagine. Stop self-doubting yourself because why? The way you will do it will be different. This person can like they can know it all and everything, but the way you interact with people, it's not the same way this person interacts with people. The way you talk, the way you carry yourself matters a lot. It doesn't have to mean like they are doing the same thing. Like now you as you deeming you as no. Like we all have voices, but my voice is different, another person's is different. And we'll still say, I love the Anne's voice, I love Anne's voice. So it doesn't matter. But the hugest thing was the self-doubt. And I, 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 slowly she started like, like, no, okay, now I will stop the self-doubt and I'll start working on it. And she started working on her Instagram. And, and she would do, we were talking about the Pinterest stuff, like how, the layout, how to make your page look better. And I thank God we had those conversations because now you can, you know, those things you talk about, don't see it then. But I, because it, it was like a, one year or two years ago, but the fact that she sat down and she was like, no, I want you to talk about it. It means a lot because it shows like whatever you're telling this person, they took it to heart. They might not have acted on it that time. But now here she is, oh, you guys, this, it's, it's the setup is beautiful. She is pretty and I, the other thing like I'm thanking God for you, like you have a team. Cause shooting it yourself, I think it was, you really wanted it. You really wanted to not just do it yourself. So I just see growth, one, from your part, you've really grown. And I'm so happy for the journey that you've started. It's, the, I will still go again, it's a, it is an answered prayer. So every single time, when you just feel like things are not going the way you want, just have a step back and see what God has done in your life. And see how far he's taking you. Because if it is like this, so imagine yourself in a few years and then like our timing is not the same as God's timing and once God starts something like he's there believe you me it will blow up it will, it will want to be beautiful because he's there and the way like our things we do things in a tiny way you you say like it's tiny but to God it will be huge and believe you me it will be huge and it will be it, it's to be such a beautiful testimony and right now already it's just doing good so you're doubting yourself stop doubting yourself it is the worst the worst killer of uh, creatives same thing I told her as creatives uh, even though I'm a creative we our perfectionism kills our dreams it does because we want things to be perfect but you can learn in the process you don't have to start it like the wow factor there's beauty in growth there's beauty in mistakes you'll appreciate your growth more you're like oh this is how i started i used to do like i would paint and it was not perfect but now it is better than it was and believe you me there's beauty in when you see your journey and when you go through some things, you'll be in a better position even to, to mentor people. You're in a better position to talk to them because you've been there. But if you've not been tested, if you've not been in a situation, how can you talk to me? If you've not been that sure, you'll not be in a position to talk to me. So at times I think we look at our sitbacks and we look at our struggles and we're like, no, this is not meant for me. You don't know what God is preparing you. Because I know Vian, like there will be a time you'll come and you're like, no, someone will come, hi, I love what you've been doing. What should I do? I'm telling you that moment, you will feel so nice because you're like, no, there was a time I started. I wanted to be perfect. I wanted to have the best equipment and everything good, 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 but I didn't get it. So you'll be in a better position to talk. It's like you're talking to your younger you because you've been there, you've experienced all those things. So you'll be like, no, 
these are the mistakes I did and this is how I went about it. So you will help younger people or even not, it doesn't have to be younger but someone who is starting their journey to not make the mistakes that you did. And that's how we start mentorship. You know at times you think mentorship as you have to be this huge person or no, you can mentor anyone, you can be a mentor. But the beauty of it is you have been there. And, and you know what self, because I think the, your hugest thing was self-doubt. You know what self-doubt does to you. And you know what it does when you, like, you let go of it. And now you're like, no, I will start with what I have. And I think the other thing I would say is uh, just not, you see, like, there was a time it started and you stopped. She, like, you were like, no, I need to just stop. But then the dream was there. And you're like, no, because this has been my dream and I will, I will, I have to start it again. I think to me, it's such a motivating thing. The things that we say we want to do and you're like, no, I can't do it now. And you just keep it pending. Yet it's something that you worked so hard. Maybe even started and you stopped. So to me, it's, it's, it's such a motivating thing. You know, like you have those things you want to start, but you're telling yourself, no. And then when you're in a position maybe to start, the psych is not there anymore so like it's such a good thing that you started you had a pause and now you're at it and you're doing it so good i'm so proud of you mm -hmm.